<laughs> Welcome to the last crusade, I mean the last model opening. I have unearthed a great archaeological find in my garage. Anyway, my stash contains 120 of the original Matchbox models and these are very, very nice kits. And now, gotta risk life and limb and expose them to the air for the first time in years. Let's see what we got. Actually, this white box. They've been exposed to the air a few days ago because I only just bought a couple of these. But anyway, what do you think of here? Saab Niggan. Check this out. And another Corsair. Can I see the way up? Another Corsair, but this is not an original boxing, this is one of the late boxings from the 80s, Chinese boxing. Chinese stroke gym boxing for Revel, bought Matchbox out. But look at the figure, this is the genuine original article, very rare. 1976. Is that right? 76. 75. And um, the box is a little bit, a little bit tiny. It's not bad, it's not bad. Look, look at it. Check it out. Nice scheme, Sweden. Brilliant. Quite a rare one. Though. Okay. Put that one away. Know about this one. Now we delve into the, the dim and distant past. I just hope that nothing nasty comes out to bite us like. Oh my god, there is an old epics in there, that's disgraceful. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, Airfix, <laughs> but a nice one. The original Harrier, yeah? Original Airfix Harrier. In its original box. That's about 1971 72. Vintage, may say on it. Does it say? Gosh, this is ancient. That's really old. What do we got here? Does it, does it have a date on it? Da, 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 da. I don't think it does, you know. Decals look okay, actually. No, nope, doesn't seem to have any date on it at all. Well, I can see. <laughs> grim, grim, grim. I don't think we're going to be building this anytime soon. This is going to remain a collector's item, really. Very nice, though, very nice. That's very old. Anyway, let's get back to business. This is in the days when uh, ethics were crud. They really were. Today, they're great. But then, pff, well, you, you bought them because there was nothing else, really, unless you wanted to buy Frog. <laughs> frog! The biggest pile of. <clears throat> Not very good. We're moving on. How about some more buccaneers? One. It's a bit of a dodgy box. The window's gone. Vanished completely the window has. Now that one might get built. I've got some alternative transfers for it. And then we've got a really nice one. And a nice box. Still got its window intact. Mint. Beautiful. And this modern interloper. Well, I said ethics were good today, and there's an example of a really, really good one. <laughs> but we won't dwell on that, it's not what we're here to talk about. Modern stuff. Old stuff we've seen. So, M16 half track, 50 cal guns on it. Krupp Prutz lorry, German lorry, Second World War. Nice tyre armour again. Towing a gun, it is. Two of those. We've got another Vespi, another Vespi, another genuine original Vespi. The window's a bit coming away there, but it's uh, 74, real, real deal, 46 years old. And then we've got a couple of the later Priest, this is the self-propelled gun. Tank killer, Q 
Two of those. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Get those back in here, that way they go on. On the cup. There we go, there we go, let's go. I'm going to go in and fit in there. Right. Move that swiftly away. Now we get to the interesting original stuff. Remember, don't be fooled by stuff that looks old and isn't. You can buy some of these Matchbox kits today in Revel boxes. The only difference is they don't come in two or three colours. That's what shows you it's an original Matchbox kit. Check this out. Oh, Blitz Air Cleaner. No, it isn't a Blitz Air Cleaner. But it's a nice box to use for our ancient, ancient stash. Might be tanks. Oh, it's many. Oh, it's all sorts. Another M16 half track. M16 half track. The later one. 83, 86. I'm just checking. Make sure I'm not talking rubbish. 74. 74. Well, it's not a 74 box. I can promise you. But anyway, and then we've got maybe have something we haven't seen before. A Mirage in South African colours. I mean, South African colours. Uh, one thing about this kit that's quite annoying, uh, it's a nice kit, but it shows it's got drop tanks which are not included in the kit. Why? <laughs> Don't ask me. That really annoyed me even when I was younger. But anyway, you see on the back it doesn't show them on the back, which is a bit dumb. Why well, didn't? There is some later versions of the artwork where then they don't appear. They've been, you know, photoshopped out. This is the Harrier and Messerschmitt 109 stash. We've got here another genuine Mark One original Harrier. Beautiful. The Harrier rises from its nest at Wildenrath in Germany from the forest. Oh. We saw this earlier, so I won't dwell on that, but it's beautiful. beautiful. I'm going to put that in that way, that way around. There we go. We've got three of those. We have another Mark I. So we've got two of the original boxes. Really excellent. Two Mark I boxes. One, two, three, four Harriers. Then we've got another classic. ME109. BF109E. This is an original 73. Original box. Even shows the Spanish Civil War version as an option. Oh, sorry, that's the Romanian Air Force. Oh, odd choice. Uh, but a very nice kit. Nice little model. Two of those. Both originals as well. Now this one, the second one, is actually noteworthy because, because it's absolutely mint. That box is totally as new. It is honestly, apart from a little bit of tape mark there, it, it, the colours and everything, that's clearly been never been in the shop window. No way. Brand new box. Fantastic. It's a nice kit. And then, we have a Wildcat. Oh, sorry, the Hellcat. Well, this is a, a Mark II box. This is, um, after the initial production run, about six months of production, they all went to these Mark II boxes with a window. Remember the other one we saw? It had a lid. The lid lift off. That's a nice one. That's awesome. Fantastic. Oh, tanks. Ladies. It's like a boy's dream. Okay, <coughs> where is our knife? 
Take it easy, short round. We only have a couple to go before the end of the story. Seventy five? Seventy four. Seventy four, yeah. Stukas. Original box art, original box. Absolutely as per original tank busting version with the cannon pods underneath, gondolas. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And the second one. She's also an original. Not quite as not quite such good condition. It's a little bit more faded, a little bit more indented, but still very nice. Nice stukas there. Yes. We've got a couple, a pair of, pair of these. This is the original one. So this is the um, half track and pack 40 gun with a brilliant diorama and this one is absolutely fantastic. Little building that's been half demolished, driving around the corner of it. And then we've got just a later version of it from the sort of 1980s. Then we've got, and this is a nice one, this is in mint condition, uh, the Willis Jeep and the Morris truck with the um, what is it, 17 pounder, 17 pounder gun, which is the same gun that's in the Sherman Firefly of course, and something we haven't had before, look at this, Field Marshal Montgomery's caravan and scout car unit, complete with a lovely diorama. Absolutely brilliant. And some figures. Including Monty himself. Oh, classic. Very hard to get hold of these today. Very, very difficult to obtain. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Superb and a rare one. P38 Lightning. Very, very rare. Very hard to get your hands on one of these. It took me ages to get this one. And then finally, oh, an Airfix Interloper. Another Harrier has crept in. Might to see that. Get that. We'll go for the Wellington. Wellington. We already saw a couple in the other box. This is one of the later boxings. And then and then we have a, a not very old at all Harrier, which is from Airfix and very, very nice by the way. Good kit. Right, I'll put these back. Before we say cheerio, I'm going to run up and get a couple more held back in reserve. Don't know anything about it. So, just bear with me a moment. I have 
one final lost arc to reveal. Oh, this is a lost arc. This one, it's huge. Huge. Six Marauder. This is a 86 release and 1983. 83, even better. But it's all cellophane original wrapped from the factory, totally untouched. And then another original. And this is an earlier one. This is a 74 Messerschmitt 410. What a weird looking plane. It looks like an insect. It's an anti aircraft. Sort of fighter bomber. Very nice one. Quite a rare edition that one, one of the only ones. And then we have all sorts of goodies in here, several air fixes which I won't bother with. What about a Tomcat and an 86? Oh, sorry, 83 boxing. The original shiny X Factory wrapping. A beauty. And last but not least, we have the Wellington, an original Wellington, again, an original artwork, original box, 1975, genuine article, absolutely brilliant, really not to be missed that one. So we have them side by side, that's the same cat, keep each other company. A bit like in the other box we saw. The same thing together in there actually. Okay. There we have it. Apart from a couple of rogues we've got lying around, which I might just show you as well. Bear with me. Hold on, folks. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. So, okay, the last, the last two I have a Spitfire and a Hurricane, which you've already seen an additional couple examples. So let's just, let's just take a gander at the Hankel. It's um, something I'm going to be building. Quite a lot of it is off the sprue, I'm afraid. Tinkle, tinkle, the sound of glass. It's falling out everywhere. Okay. The thing about Matchbox is simply this. We did have panel line detail, quite quite good, recessed panel lines. Good. But they went together well. They always went together easily. And you know, there was no flash, hardly ever. Do you get flash in a matchbox? They have a nice little stand. I'm not sure this one does have it. Yes, yes, there it is. In this case it's quite a nice big stand, M for matchbox. Quite a sensible stand, it works really well actually. Solid, stable. They had colour instructions, very clear instructions, easy to follow. No problem with that. They had lovely artwork as we've seen, very clear painting schemes, diagram. 
uh, for youngsters to have a lot of basic tips of how to paint some of the small parts. But you know, but they just go together well. Look at this. We'll just just put this together just for a, a moment. Give you an idea of that. So there we go. It's a perfect, pretty pretty much seamless join. Straight away. What you've got to do is run a bit of glue around that and you've got a really nice, it's hardly any ridge at all, no flash, brilliant. These were underrated products, still are today, people think that everything was crap in the 70s, no it wasn't. These are fabulous. Here we go, wing. It's the, uh, it's the starboard wing. Look at that. Perfect fit, first time, no flash, no overlaps. Yeah, you might not like the colours. You're going to paint it anyway, aren't you? Most people are. And if you're not, if you're a kitty, even better, you don't have to paint it. I think it was just brilliant and it was great at the time and still today, not up to modern standards obviously, but back in 1973, this was Tamiya on a budget, okay? Don't let anybody tell you that these weren't good because they were very, very good. Limited detail, yes, but they were made for pocket money and they were so well thought out. Nice, clear, lovely, clear, transparent parts, no problems. And you ended up with a nice model. What more could you want? Yeah. Well, kid, even a great archaeologist knows that that's all anybody needs. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this delve into the past, my archaeological journey of discovery. We've discovered so many things here. What an amazing collection I've got. And, it, and it's still building. I've got 120 matchbox in my archive. And I'll be building this one I'm going to build for the Battle of Britain. So I'll be building this. So watch this space later in the summer, probably about August. This will appear in August, September. This will, this will show. Hope you've enjoyed this journey into the past, folks. And remember, because it's old, like me, doesn't mean it's no good. Okay, you'll take care now. Hope I've given you some food for thought. If you're stuck in with the coronavirus, just dig out one of those old models and just make it. You'll have great fun, okay? It'll be fantastic. Anyway, take it easy, be safe, wash your hands, look after yourselves, take care. See you soon, bye for now.